Gundam Fasalis Type, MLRS. Let me introduce you to the Earth Federation's attempt to copy the Xeon's Dome mobile suit, the RX-78GP-02A Gundam Fasalis. Chalky Gundam is the Federation's answer to the question, how powerful can a Gundam be? But with two 60mm Vulcan cannons, and two AE Blash Beam Sabers, and one monster of a shield, they even went as far as to give it a Mark 82 nuclear warhead. Yes, a Gundam that launches nukes, because why not, right? How could giving a giant robot a nuke ever be a bad idea? Anyways, today we're looking into the MLRS type. The MLRS type was made as a mid-range support loadout for the operations that don't require a nuke. So, most battles and situations. It was designed to destroy the Xeon revenants still hiding out on the Earth in the Africa and Eurasia continents. But the MLRS type was not to be. Once the Gundam Fasalis made it to the Torrington base in Australia, Avril Grotto, a member of the Xeon Remnants, quickly snatched the mobile suit before it could even make it off the Pegasus class assault carrier Albion. Though, there is a graphic novel, Mobile Suit Gundam Katana, where the MLRS type was produced and used. MLRS stands for Multiple Launch Rocket System, with six tubular missile containers, three on each side of the backpack. It could be fired at a set interval or all at once. Simulations ran by the Anaheim Electronics, the manufacturer of the Gundam Fatalis, shown that it had enough firepower to level a whole city. It sounds almost as powerful as having that nuke. This is one OP Gundam, especially coming right out of the gate after the one year war. It's a shame this mobile suit design was not explored more. I love the idea of a Federation mobile suit inspired by the Xeon DOM unit. It would be so cool to see a mass produced GM unit with DOM like legs where it could hover and have more mobility than a normal GM unit. I think this is one of the most menacing looking Gundams ever made, definitely in the Universal Century. The way that Shoji Kawamori designed the mouth plate, the oversized shoulder armor with built-in thrusters, pistons exposed on the forearms, and hooked ends to the feet, this mobile suit really looks like a Xeonic take on a Gundam which is a super interesting concept. Just looking at this thing, it's not hard to imagine that it would launch nukes. Honestly, it's amazing how many mecha and robot designs Shoji Karamori created and helped with the concept and um, inspiration. From Super Dimensional Fortress Macross, How to Labor the Movie, Ghost in the Shell, Areca 7, and my favorite anime of all time, The Vision of Escaflone. Not to mention, he came up with the concept of Mecha transforming from robot form to vehicle form with Diaclone, which later was used to make the Transformers. Shoji designed Convoy, also known as Optimus Prime, 
Choji Karamori has done so much for mecha design and beyond. Making this video has really shown me how much of my favorite childhood TV shows and franchises he had a part in. He truly has an incredible legacy. I'm a huge fan of mecha design, some would say obsessed, and this channel I hope to explore and learn more with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. What cool mobile suit design crossovers would you guys like to see? Tell me in the comments and let's talk about it. Thank you for watching.